Hey, what's happening? This is Dr. Nandi, the math guru. I'm back again. Today we are going to talk about a differential equation problem. So let's get started. Differential equation, what problem number one? Under ideal conditions, air pressure decreases continuously with the height above the sea level at a rate proportional to the pressure at that height. The barometer reads 30 inches at sea level and 15 inches at 18,000 feet. Find the barometric pressure at 35,000 feet. Solution, given dp over dh, derivative of p with respect to h where p is pressure, okay? And that is equal to k times p where k is the constant and this information is derived from the fact that the air pressure decreases continuously with height above the sea level at a rate proportional to the pressure at that height. So the decrease in pressure with height, dp over derivative of p with respect to height is equal to uh, integrate, uh, actually a constant, proportionality constant multiplied by p, which is the pressure at that height. Now we can separate the variables and we get dp over p is equal to k times dh on the right hand side of the equal to sign. We integrate on both sides to get ln of p is equal to kh plus c, where c is a constant, okay? Now we can take the natural, uh, use the definition of natural logarithm to get p is equal to e, or which is the natural number, exponent kh plus c, which we can further separate into e kh multiplied by e c, where e is the natural number, and which can be further simplified equal to c1 times e kh. You ask what is c1? c1 is nothing but the natural number raised to the power of c, which is a constant. Thus, we can write the pressure equation as C1 times E, natural number, exponent KH. Okay, it's given to us that at sea level, that is when H is equal to zero, P of zero is equal to 30. Therefore, 30 is equal to C1 multiplied by E to the power of zero, natural number raised to the power of zero is one, which means C1 is equal to 30. So we plug it back in the equation or substitute back in the equation for P of H. So for C1, we write 30 and then X, E, which is the natural number exponent KH, okay. Also given to us at height equal to 18,000, P of 18,000 is 15. So P of 18,000 is 15. So 15 is equal to 30 natural number E, K times H for H, we are going to plug, substitute 18,000, okay. Now we divide by 30 on both sides, we get 15 over 30 is equal to natural number E exponent K times 18,000. So we take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation to get ln of or natural logarithm half is equal to K times 1800 or K divide by 1800 on both sides, K is equal to the constant is equal to ln of half divided by 18,000. Now ln of half is ln one minus ln two, ln one zero. So ln of half is basically minus ln two divided by 18,000. So that is the value for k. So hence p is equal to 30 natural number e. For k, I'm going to write minus ln two divided by 18,000 multiplied by h. So natural number raised to this product of these two quantities. Now at h equal to 35,000, we will plug in 35,000 for h in the exponent for the natural number. So we get p at 35,000 is equal to 30 natural number e minus ln two, okay, times 35,000 divided by, it should be 18,000, not 1,800. So, P of 35,000, if you do the number correctly, crunch the number in the calculator, is approximately 7.79 inches. So you can see that the pressure 
decreases rapidly as we increase the elevation. Okay, so because it was given that at uh, 18,000 feet, pressure is 15 inches, barometric pressure that is. So we found out that at 35,000, the barometric pressure is almost half of that 7.79 inch. Okay, that's why when we fly on an airplane, it's always pressurized because the pressure is very low at that height at which the plane flies, the elevation at which the plane is flying, okay? So pressure at 35,000 is 7.79 inch. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. And uh, I come back every week to solve new problems. Please keep watching, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the right corner of the screen, okay? Thanks again, and I will see you next time with another problem, okay? Take care, have a nice day.